Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing well. Today I want to show you how I actually create my Bike Geek MTDX um, adverts that you see at the end of every single YouTube video I post nowadays. I'm redoing this one to have um, both Bike Geek MTDX and Q Computer Channel. I'm also having it actually inside of the elevator. I decided that the existing um, adverts, the graphics were not the best because they were kind of low resolution. So what I decided to do is I decided to use a photo I shot of the inside of an elevator not too long ago as the basis for this new advert. So uh, I'm sure some of you guys who have seen it may have wondered how I have created it. Well, honestly, it's really a combination between uh, Windows Movie Maker, you know, the Vista style Movie Maker and paint. Pretty simple. Um, there is a good bit of work involved in creating the advert, but um, let me show you how it's actually done. So basically we start out with the image. Let me find it. I decided to choose this one here. This is the ThyssenKrupp elevator that's actually in the Health Careers building at Central Piedmont Community College. This is a smaller of the two elevators up front. I use this one because it is a good, you know, it's a, it's a, pre, it's a pretty decent image. Um, now basically, if you look at my other um, advert, which let me see if I can pull it up here. Basically, it resembles a ThyssenKrupp traditional elevator. Um, traction elevator with traditional fixtures, um, vandal resistant lanterns and things like that. Um, traditional vandal resistant. And I figured um, since I'm doing an update I might as well mock the inside as a Tesla Cup traditional. So what I had to do was since I did not photograph a traditional I had to modify this image this uh, vandal resistant um, floor indicator to be a tra traditional. So I had to kind of modify all this out and create a traditional floor indicator like so you can probably tell I have done some of the you know I've done some cover up in here and what I'll do is I'll make sure I'm posting these images straight to the video so I can see the clarity and everything so you know what I've done is I modified the floor indicator to actually be a traditional and I also posted you know the actual Q computer company thing up top and just for just for laughs I figure I'd say, oh, we're in Q Computer Company Tower. No, Q Computer Company does not have a 10-story tower. Well, you know, <laughs> Q Computer Company is not having a big thing. <laughs> but yeah, just, just for last, I figure I'd do that anyway. Um, so anyway, you're probably wondering, how do I animate the floor indicator? Well, basically, it's a combination of a few things. Um, if you're scrolling really, really close, you can see how I have done the graphics here. The floor indicator itself... Um, it's not completely black. Um, I started out with, you know, like a dot matrix style um, template. And I used what's called the Dover style dot matrix numbers. You know, numbers and letters. Like that's the Dover style G. Like for example, I have actually have a folder slam full of them. Let's see how I can find them. Basically I have... Um, blue and red so if I go in here I actually animated you know the arrows and some of the um, letters and numbers and things like that these are actually just for reference because when I do the videos themselves or you know the animations I have to actually start over again with the with the numbers I'll explain more on that in just a moment so you know zero one two three four five six seven eight nine zero well actually a b g h l M P R. I don't have all of it. I don't actually have them all animated yet. Um, there's actually a few more that I'm missing. You know, there's the red, and of course the blue. Now, ThyssenKrupp elevator. Of course, for those who don't know, particularly you cute the um, computer guys that like my cute computer channel videos. Um, ThyssenKrupp elevator was actually. Um, Tissen at one point and they acquired Dover's elevator division back in the late 90s early 2000s and about midway through they they created a digital style indicator of their own 
which sort of resembles Dover's style indicator, but um, they did sort of mod the numbers a little bit. For example, this is how the Tissencrump numbers look. You know, slightly different, some are the same. This is the Tissencrump style numbers. Now some of these are not official, the letters are not official. That the B is, G is official, H I'm not sure, L is official, not sure about M. Anyways, it's got it there. So anyways, you got an idea of how to come up with the numbers. Now basically, I have, let me get out of this and let you see the numbers themselves. So I started out with this base template here. You can see it's just a blank indicator. And I had to manually fill in the numbers on each slide. You know, I have a total of 12 slides. So let's go through them all. This is the base. There's ground. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there's with the air when the arrow goes out. Well, it's actually I'm going backwards because the elevator is actually going down from the tenth floor to the lobby. So that's how I did the animations in regards to that. So you know, we just covered how I did the imaging portion of the of the video itself. I'm currently working on the you know con combining the audio and the video as one. So basically, with Tissencrump Elevator um, and, and Dover, and this newer Dover elevators, um, they have commonly what's, what's referred to the elevator community as the Dover Buzz. You know, that there. Um, so what I've done is I just simply um, extracted the buzz out of a video I shot. This elevator here is actually one of the elevators in Presbyterian Medical Center. Um, I extracted the buzz out of that, so I had the audio itself. So, anyways, I'm still I'm still working on this, but um, this is kind of how it's going to go. Start from the beginning here. Actually, I'm going to shorten that just a little bit. Let's see, and move the buzz back where it's supposed to go. So basically, I have all these lined up in Move Maker. The slides are lined up in order, and I have the buzz exactly where it's supposed to go on each one. Now, you may notice how it kind of sounds a little bland with no background noise. So I had to come up with the background noise. You know, many elevators actually do have fans, and this is mimicking a traction elevator going down because, you know, basically traction elevators are nearly silent. Um, the better ones are very, are very silent. But some elevators do make some noises, and many elevators do happen to actually have a fan running in the cab. So, I didn't have, you know, I didn't have any footage of just a fan running in the background in the elevator, so I had to find a fan somewhere. Now, computer fans don't sound right. A fan like this doesn't sound right. No, it needs, to, it needs to have a little bit of a different sound. So guess where I got the sound, the, the fan sound, for this video. You guys are going to probably laugh at this too. I got it out of the bathroom. Yes, out of the bathroom. So let me go ahead and actually pull it up. You know, that noise there. Which, you know, it does sound a lot like, you know, a typical fan inside of an elevator. So, well, let us actually do this.
So anyways, that's that. Um, it does sound a whole lot better when you have the fan noise in the background. Now I need to add in some additional noises to this, um, such as, um, you know, when it begins, I gotta, make a, I gotta add in some sound effects there, but you know, I'm gonna add some further sound effects and we'll continue on here. Okay everybody, I've now added some sound effects. I used the CPCC Terrell Buildings elevator for sound effects. And no, I did not use its annoying sounding buzzer. No, no, no. <laughs> that thing is very annoying sounding. But anyways, let's go ahead and have a listen. Without the fan noise. So anyways, here we go. There you go. I decided to take the voiced um, Cube Computer Company out of the end. I mean, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's a techie sounding thing, but <laughs> in some videos, I just don't think it's quite appropriate. Like, some bike geek MTGX, I think it's kind of, I don't know, it kind of comes at you all of a sudden. So I decided to take it out and just include the Cube Computer Company logo with the sound at the end. Kind of shorten up a little bit. So anyways, um, if you look carefully at this design, what I can simply do is in the videos, I can actually add annotations to turn these two logos here into links. So that way, whether you're on Bike Geek MTDX or Q Computer Channel, and you want to switch, you want to go to the channel page of either or, you can just click. Now, I don't know if every video will have this or not, but it's you know something to think about. So anyways, that's how I put the video together, and here's the final product. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask, and thanks for watching.